There are many reasons why a man may be subfertile or he may have too few sperm in his ejaculate. It may be down to the size and, and organisation of his testicles um, and that may be influenced by many things. It could be influenced by his genetics, it could be simply influenced by the way he grew during puberty or it could have been influenced by a previous illness or infection. So for example mumps, a very simple uh, childhood infection um, can be damaging to the testicle if it happened at around the time of puberty or shortly after puberty. If a man's had previous treatment for cancer then the drugs that were given to the man to combat that cancer can give permanent damage. There is almost certainly some genetic element to some men's infertility and we know very little about that but there are some genes that are associated with infertility. The most common gene that we are concerned about is that that's related to cystic fibrosis. So men who may be otherwise healthy and not have any evidence of cystic fibrosis in them or their families could actually have a gene from that family that may not give them symptoms of cystic fibrosis but may actually have affected the way that their um, testicles or the associated tubes around the testicles are made. That may mean that fewer sperm are ejaculated than ordinarily would be the case. So there are many different reasons for male subfertility and that may be why a man may be asked to give a sample of blood. Um, it may be why a man is asked to be examined by the doctor and I'd always recommend that a patient asked to be examined by their doctor if the doctor doesn't um, volunteer to do that because there are many subtle things in testicles that need to be uh, looked at in order to exclude them. So for example um, it may be that you have a cyst or a blockage, it may be that you have um, a small tumour in your testicles that needs to be looked at for other reasons and it may only become to light at the time of your infertility investigations. So going to the doctor and having an examination, having a sperm test and having all these blood tests performed is really part of the suite of uh, things that we would expect to happen at the time of infertility diagnosis.